Well, I hope you're having a great day, evening, night, whatever it may be. This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another wonderful episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we talk about all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarlane figures, anime, sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe so that way you get notified of all sorts of good stuff. And let's go back to the world of anime. And we're going to take a look at one from an anime I just got finished watching the entire season of and I really really enjoyed it it's called from hell's paradise and that's what it's called and I have the figure here the sh figure arts Gabi Maru the hollow we're gonna take a look at him see how he compares see what he looks like and see if this is a figure you should go with so let's go and check out what Gabi Maru is Gabi and all about Yes, folks, today we are looking at Gabi Maru the Hollow from Hell's Paradise Jigu Karaku. I probably mispronounced that, but uh, if you're not familiar with this anime, it's had one season, but the manga is going on. I know season two was renewed. Uh, it was... Uh, animation studio mappa mappa has been very busy and kind of stretched to the gills with all their animation doing this doing uh, uh jujitsu kaisen uh, vinland saga they were in several ones but uh just a really quick synopsis of hell's paradise uh, it's about this guy gabby maru the hollow uh who is sentenced to be executed but nothing seems to kill him due to his superhuman body believing his love for his wife to be subconsciously keeping him alive Executioner Yamada Asaman Sagari offers him the chance to be pardoned of all crimes by the Shogunate if he finds the elixir of life on Shinsen Kayo, a legendary realm recently discovered southwest of the Ryuku Kingdom. After losing five expedition teams sent to the island, this time the Shogunate sends a group of death row convicts. The convicts are each given a Yamada Asaman Executioner who they must return with in order to obtain a pardon. Uh, so uh, that's just it. In a, it's kind of like Suicide Squad, but uh, in old school Japan, in a weird, freaky island that's full of flowers and things that can kill you and fish walking people and all sorts of stuff. But this is Gabi Maru the Hollow. Uh, he gets set up. Uh, so just some spoilers. He gets set up by the Shogun that he was working for. Uh, who he, he actually married the Shogun's daughter, who was a peace-loving person. He decides to get out of the business of killing because of his love for his wife. And the Shogun uh, sets him up to get captured and to be sentenced to death. But here is the figure. I think it looks cool. I love the backdrop with the paint uh, and things like that. Uh, he kind of almost looks like, like if you research uh, like Gojo figures, for some reason this one comes up because he kind of looks like he could be a teenage Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, just if you painted those eyes blue uh, right there. But there it is from the front. You can kind of see this is an SH Figure Arts figure. So it's got lots of posability, lots of different pieces and parts. So I really can't wait to get into this and kind of just open it up and play with it a little bit and compare it to some other figures and give you my thoughts. So let's do this. Let's get it out of the box right now. Okay, I'm really digging this figure. I, I mean, I love SH Figure Arts figures because of all the things you get and the playability at a pretty decent price. Like this guy right here, uh, I got him on sale for about 40 bucks. Uh, so you can find him anywhere from 40 to $80. Uh, and now there are a couple other Hell's Paradise figures that I will be reviewing as well that I have coming or have and just haven't unveiled yet. Uh, but I'll tell you what, anime figures seem to be really digging, doing it for me, and that seems to be doing it for y'all, because, I mean, y'all kind of love uh, some of these anime reviews. But just love the look, the aesthetic, everything about this just screams awesome. I think it's really, really cool, really, really great. And what you get with it, of course, you get uh, all sorts of stuff. So first of all, the sword. Uh, so you do get a sword, which has got some really cool little details on it. Uh, just a nice, stiff, 
plastic on here. Uh, you also get one, two, three, four different face plates. So his, his ninja face right there. And then you also get his kind of screaming face. You get his surprised face. And then you get his kind of just inquisitive face. And of course, the face he has right now is this nonchalant. You get this, this little scarf right here uh, that goes on to his neck that can cover his mouth. Uh, you get this, which looks like this looks like a part of like an arm or something. I don't know. Oh, I know what this is. This is the neck. This is the neck. Uh, so that way you can kind of like do the whole ninja mask and things like that because that looks like the back of the head there we'll see what we'll we'll see here we'll see what happens uh and then you get two four six eight yeah yeah you get a bunch of hands uh so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine uh different hands uh that you can use to kind of uh, pose them and then of course the figure itself right here so let's bring him in for a closer look whoop there we go. But just look at that face. I mean, I just love, he's just like, just, I got that. The reason why they call him Gabi Maru the hollow is because he is emotionless. He shows no emotion in a lot of what he does uh, in the show and things like that. I mean, he was a trained killer. He was kidnapped from his parents, actually the Shogun that kidnapped and killed his parents. And then he was raised as an assassin. Uh, so, uh, but the outfit really, really nice, really cool really am digging this whole aesthetic here i think looks very awesome uh so but yeah there's rotisserie so there's the front the side the whoop, the back the side and back to the front but yeah just again just with these figure arts figures they give you enough detail kind of have some fun with and they're great for posing they're not like really considered like your action figures you want to bury in the sand that would be i would leave that up to your from a from a anime standpoint your anime heroes ones these are ones that you want to keep to pose however you want to but uh let's go into some posability so the neck you got neck movement you got head movement uh with the neck the head also does turn uh independent of the neck you got this right here which is the upper torso and then the bottom torso here uh, that you have movement there the arms always are very cool and interesting because you have this joint right here and then you have this joint right here too so you can kind of pop it out and 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 where it needs to go you have the twist uh, you also have twist here on the hand you got more than a 90 degree bend at the elbow uh, on this too as well and you can get it pretty high up there too as well so you can that'd be cool if you had a a uh, a bow really get him in that kind of position to shoot a uh, bow and arrow uh, and then ab crunched galore i mean he can bend as well really really good legs you can kind of see the joint down here you can get it almost to a jean claude van damme kind of kind of feeling there uh, you got back movement you got to kind of get past this this underwear here a little bit uh, but you do have that bend right there with the knee you also have the twist right here at the thigh you have the twist right here at the at the shin and then the twist at the ankle and then the tilt right there too as well so lots and lots of posability uh with this guy if i really wanted to get him in some pretty gnarly looking Kind of poses there right so definitely want to you'd want to get some like kind of uh, flight stands and things like that and i did have some but my cats destroyed them so <laughs> we'll play with it as best as we can on here but uh changing out face plates and things like that very fairly simple uh just like you've seen in all my other sh figure arts reviews uh there's typically part of the hair and the head that you would remove and i think it's right here that you would remove this piece <sighs> there we go and then pull that part off and then let's put on this one right here and you're going to see two little dots two little dots right there you just kind of get it in there and then pop the head hair back on he goes, I don't want to go back on for you, Jimmy. 
very, very tight there. Yeah. Well, let me, I'll, I'll try to get it back on here in just a moment. Uh, arms are the same thing, ball joint. Best practice is to kind of just unscrew them off and then you can just pop on uh, the different hands there too as well. Uh, so let me get his head back on and then we'll get him compared to some other characters. I'll put on maybe a different face or kind of try to figure out what this little neck piece is here. So got him back together and just to show you that was an extra neck piece What I did was I put the extra neck and then the little shroud here and his face here So now he's got his shinobu uh, Kind of look to him gave him the hand with the sword on it. So you can kind of see that's very cool I mean, I love the fact they gave me an extra neck and an extra head But just to show you he could be a teenage goju right goju go go cho And so this is sh figure arts uh, Jujutsu Kaisen gojo, but if we bring him in kind of close and take a look yeah they could be they could be brothers right definitely gabamaru beat your brother gojo yep domain expansion infinite void <laughs> so uh there they are uh and, and gabamaru is a short little dude in the um in the anime and in the manga and things like that but let's bring in a few other figures to kind of show you uh so this is a five inch mcfarlane and then we also have 3.75 inch Star Wars, seven inch McFarlane. Let's bring that in over here. Boom. And then we have six inch Black Series Star Wars here. Let's bring in a Voyager class, good old bludgeon. Most everyone here has swords of some sort, except for Gojo, he doesn't need a sword. And then of course a Legend Scale Iron Factory Hanemaru. So there we are. That's kind of how he scales. I mean, scales really well with the SH Figure Arts figures, but I am just digging this figure. This this is one of my favorites. I mean, Gojo, you're you're definitely my favorite SH Figure Arts figure, but Gabi Maru, oh my gosh, he is so friggin' cool. I mean, just so cool. Uh, from a height standpoint, I know I forgot to show you that. Let me just kind of share with you from a height standpoint, I mean, he stands at about, about five and a half when you think about Gojo, who's at uh, about six and a half. So he's, Gojo's a whole inch higher than Gabi Maru there, uh, but just a freaking awesome, awesome character. So I'm gonna get him in some different poses, do some different shots with him, but we're gonna get back together for my final thoughts on Gabi Maru, the hollow from Hell's Paradise. So my final thoughts on Gabi Maru, the hollow, different outfit, different day. Recorded that intro not too long ago, but it's a different day when I finally got to record the rest of this video. But here's Gabi Maru. This is probably the way I will keep him for right now in this pose, just because I like the emotionless face because that's in the in the anime in the manga. That's where he was. The way he really showed emotion was when it came down to his wife and it came down to surviving and things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, this is, this is, this is a phenomenal figure. I, I think he should have like a, a dear Gabby column, dear Gabby Maru, dear Gabby, people keep making fun of me at school. What should I do? Hurt and afraid, sincerely hurt and afraid, dear hurt and afraid. Let me know who they are and I will throat punch them and rip them a new butthole. Your friend, Gabby Maru the Hollow. But <laughs> there he, that, that is him. My pros, I, I mean, I really, really like this figure. I, I love just the look of it, the overall aesthetics, the different hands, the different, the, the different positions you can put them in. Uh, I like the budget on it too as well. I mean, I know there are more expensive figures out there. Now, not necessarily for Hell's Paradise, but for other uh, manga and other anime, there are really, really more expensive figures out there that probably have more detail and things like that. But for the price and for what you get, SH Figure Arts, you can't go wrong with really. I mean, they are some really quality figures and got some really quality details and really look true to the anime, to the manga. And if you haven't watched Hell's Paradise, I would encourage you. Now it's not for younger kids. I would say that I would say do not let younger kids watch Hell's Paradise but I would say this is this is a really good one and this figure right here on a scale of good bad awesome he he's awesome 
he's just he's just awesome i i really enjoyed this one i didn't have any of the tolerance issues like i've had in the past with some of the figure arts figures i didn't have anything where i felt like i was going to break it uh it just just overall is a really solid solid like like a nine eight point nine nine point one on the one through ten scale on this so definitely if you are a fan of anime if you're a fan of hell's paradise this is a great figure to own as well as the others that are out there too which we will review at a later date but that's all i gotta say about gabby maru the hollow and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you would get it and pick it up and i hope this helped make your decision going yeah i want it or you know what i'm gonna pass on it but that's what i'm here to do i'm here to give you those first reactions so that way you don't have to if you don't want it but let's tune in next time let's tune in y'all tune in next time when we do review something else good bad or awesome but in the meantime y'all remember to stay young have fun and be awesome we'll talk to you later bye bye <laughs>